Hey guys, welcome back to another empowering technology tutorial. As you can see, I am already in the back end of our website, uh, the Helix 2 Joomla template. Uh, as promised, today I'm going to show you guys how to use the carousel within the Helix 2 template. It's a pretty cool feature. Uh, it's already programmed into the template we don't have to download any extensions to display whatever images we want to display on our website so it's pretty powerful let's just jump right into it and let me show you how to use it so the first thing you're going to want to do is click on extensions and go to module manager from here we are going to create a new module scroll down select custom HTML and you can title this whatever you want. Uh, I usually title it, try to title my modules, what they are, and even sometimes maybe what page they're located on. Because as you're developing your website, you're going to end up with probably a lot of modules. If you don't title them well, it's going to make it hard for you to make changes to your website if you have to go through each one to figure out what they are. So like for instance, we're gonna put this uh, carousel image slider on our home page. So I would just put carousel home page, just like that. I always, well generally, I hide the title. Uh, you don't really want people visiting your website to see that. Go to menu assignment. By default, it's already set on all pages. We're gonna change that. Scroll down to only the pages selected, click none, and then just click on the home page. That's the only page we want this particular carousel to show up on. Uh, the next thing we need to do is go to options. This is probably where a lot of people have problems trying to get certain short codes to work within the template. You have to change the prepare content from no to yes. If you don't, it won't work. The image slider will not work. All you'll see on your front page is the code that you put in. Go back to the module. One other thing I want to throw out there too. Before you start doing any of this, you're going to want to optimize your images for your website. And what I mean by that is I'll give you a, a really quick idea. I'll show you kind of what I've done. I use uh, Photoshop. Now we're inside of Photoshop. Whatever images I'm going to use, I will optimize them. So let's just say, for instance, this is one of the images that I'm going to use on my website. It's entirely too big. This is only 33.3% of the size of this image we don't want it that big. So if you're using Photoshop, you can just click on image, image size, and right here you can change the image sizes. A good image size for the carousel is gonna be between the width between 800 and 400. So let's do 600 by 375, click OK. Let's see what it looks like at 100% that's going to be okay. We can use that at that size. So that's what I mean. You're going to, whatever images you're going to, you want to use, you need to optimize them. You need to make them smaller. If they are like 1920 by 1080, that's way too big. Scale them down. And I suggest that you use, you know, a good uh, photo manipulation or photo editing program such as Photoshop, or GIMP. If you don't know much about Photoshop and if you've never used it, they do offer a free 30-day trial. So you can try out latest version of Photoshop for free for 30 days. And I don't believe that they even require you to put in a credit card to do that. 
so it's definitely worth trying out and not only can you try out Photoshop but you can try out every one of their uh, applications Illustrator After Effects InDesign all of them you can try each one out individually for 30 days pretty cool alright uh, let's move back to our uh, website to the back end of our website so now that you have all of your all of your images optimized for your website the next thing you're going to want to do is um, here let's let me uh, save and close this real quick so I can show you what to do kind of got a little bit ahead of myself but the next thing you're going to want to do is upload those just upload them to your uh, to your website and you can do that through content go to media manager and you can upload all your photos right here it'll make it a little quicker when you're you know coding your carousel and adding your images into it you just you know click on upload select the file and then click upload now let's go back to module manager and go back into our carousel when you use the carousel you do have to use a little bit of short code where do you get the short code from our good friends at Joom Shaper will provide you with all of the short code that you need. You can go right here to this page and this is the short code for the carousel. And we're gonna go through it step by step. But this is where you'll get it. And I'll put a link up uh, directly to this page at the bottom of this tutorial. And you can click on short, you can get all of the short code for all of these functions are hard coded into the Joomla, excuse me, the Helix 2 template. So not only can you use the carousel, but you can use the accordion, the tab, there's icons, uh, video, the gallery, buttons, testimonials, maps, all of that stuff you can use without even downloading an extra extension. Pretty awesome pretty awesome if you know anything about Joomla you'll know that most templates don't have any of that you have to down you'd have to download an extension for each one of these and you want to try not to download extensions if you don't have to you want to try and stick with core Joomla or your core template um, whenever possible why because it poses security risks to your website people can hack into your website through the extensions just a little bit of information for you something to uh, definitely keep in mind as you're developing your website and let's go ahead and start that's going to be your first line of code and this is the second line and then this is where you're going to add your first image click on the little insert image button let's find our image now before you jump ahead of yourself and just insert this image couple of things I want to point out to you number one when you're building your website you want to as you're building it this is going to save you some time in the end for your SEO which is search engine optimization you have to have alternate text for your images and depending on what your websites about I would suggest that you use some keywords in your alternate text now it's going to automatically display some alternate text which is just um, basically what the the name of the image is but we can change that we can go something like that you know whatever whatever your uh, whatever your website is about you might want to throw in a couple of keywords in the alternate text next thing you're going to want to do is click on advanced and set a title for it whatever the title of your image is like this is just I'm just gonna put Albert Einstein and now you are ready to insert your image if you wanna add a caption to your image we can do so like this and then always end your item your picture with the closing tag for the carousel item which is a backslash carousel item one other thing you're gonna to wanna to do too is you're probably gonna to wanna to center this image so that it displays in the middle of your web page. So click on the image and then just click uh, align center up here at the top. We are ready to add another image. So just like we did before,
and insert image. I'm not going to add a caption to this one. I'm just going to go ahead and close it out. And hit enter. And now we're going to add another one. I'm going to pause this video and uh, add all of my images just to reduce some of the time. And I will be right back. Okay. I've added all of my images and as you can see they each have the opening tag for the carousel item and a closing tag behind them. Let's go back through and let's center them all up real quick. Just like you have an opening and an ending tag for your item, you also have an ending tag for the carousel itself. If you remember at the very beginning we put opening tag just carousel and then we went through with our carousel items and I showed you how to add a caption if you desire to do so so now we need to add a closing tag for the carousel itself and it's just simply carousel with a backslash set this position to Feature. Make sure you scroll down to the Shaper Helix template and click on Feature. Now you can save and close it. Go to the front end of our website, refresh it, and you'll see that we have a really nice image slider. We can scroll through it and look at all of the cool images that we just added. I put these guys on here. Thomas Edison, uh, Tesla, Albert Einstein, because to me, they are an inspiration. They were way ahead of their time, um, great inventors, technology wizards in my book. Um, for their time and what the things that they were doing, I really look up to these guys. So, and this is what it looks like if you add a caption. Generally, for my websites, I usually don't add a caption um, but if you want one that's what it'll look like so there you have it this is the uh, the carousel image slider for the helix 2 template it's very simple to use um, just remember that you definitely have to turn on the prepare content otherwise it will not work if this uh, tutorial helped you guys out in any way please give it a quick thumbs up it definitely helps me to continue to create tutorials for you if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel and uh, until next time take care I'll see you guys in the next tutorial